Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're gonna get started by essentially just adding Chart.js to our project and just generally getting set up. So let's get going on that now. Okay, so to get started, I have really an app that's just downloaded from HTML5 Boilerplate. Now, HTML5 Boilerplate is something that has been used for a long time to just quickly get up and running. Uh, you don't need any sort of generators or anything like that. You just download HTML5 Boilerplate. In the end here, all that really matters is that you have something to get going. Now, if you want to get this code directly, you can become a level up pro and have access to the code there. Um, but really, like I said, it's just HTML5 boilerplate. Now I'm going to get this up and running with a simple node server. Now to do this, you need to have node.js installed. Really, you can uh, bypass this step if you don't need a server or you can use the simple Python server. You can just Google simple Python server if you're on OS X. But we're gonna use uh, npm install hyphen g and then we're going to install http hyphen server this is going to just globally install this really simple http server that's a node server now from here notice how i'm in the chart js directory that's the same directory as this project here i'm simply just going to type http hyphen server and that's it and if you'll notice, we now have access to this at this local host port 8080. So let's go ahead and we can head to our browser and paste this in. And you'll notice we get the hello world, which is our HTML up right here. Now I'm gonna prune this a little bit. I got rid of the Google Analytics. I'm gonna get rid of some of these commented stuff. I don't need a favicon. I don't need any of this stuff really because I mean, honestly, we're just going to be showing chart JS in this, okay? But normalize, all that stuff's pretty good to have. Now there's lots of ways that you could go about adding chart JS to your application. If you click getting started, it's gonna take you to the GitHub page where you can see how you can install it with Bower or with Node. Now, because I just wanna get going as simple as possible, you can use NPM or Bower or any of these other methods. I'm just going to grab the CDN version. You'll notice if you click on this link, it's a hosted version of this file. You can copy this path and directly just paste it in here as the script that you're loading. So in our footer here, we can just come down here so at the bottom of our body, we can just come down here and add a script and we can add a source. And that source is just going to simply be equal to the path. So nothing fancy here. And since this is HTML5, we don't need to do type JavaScript or anything like that. Okay. But as you can see, I'm loading this Cloudflare. I'm loading this chart JS directly from this. And you might be wondering, well, do I need do I need jQuery or any of that stuff? Well, we don't, so we can come in here. See you later, jQuery. Uh, okay, see you later, all this stuff. And we can leave this main.js file that's inside of our JS folder right here um, because it's just a blank JavaScript file. And that way we can write our code directly in there. But as you can see here, we're now loading uh, what is this CDN file. And we just have a standard JavaScript file. Really all that matters is that you load this and you have some place to write JavaScript that is going to be recognized by this HTML document. Now, cool, okay, let's head back to the browser from chartjs.org. You're gonna see that we have documentation. Before we check out documentation, you can see that we have some cool, cool stuff in Chart.js. We have mixed chart types where you can have bar charts on top of uh, whatever line charts this are. And we have things like different chart axes where you can move the axes to be, you know, inverse or something like that. And you can animate everything. Now, what's awesome about this is that this is HTML. Uh, this is responsive. It's using Canvas. There are eight different chart types and it's totally open source. So I can't imagine a reason why you wouldn't wanna use this project over some other charting solutions. Now, there are things like D3 and D3 is an amazing, amazing package and ecosystem. However, D3 is going to be 
overkill if you need a simple chart like one of these. And these charts aren't even that simple, to be honest. But if you need a chart, you know, learning D3 is great. But if you need advanced visualizations, then D3 is probably going to be more up your alley. But if you're just doing beautiful charts, check out Chart.js. It's awesome. Okay, so let's head to documentation here. And as you can see, we have some pretty sweet docs. We have a line chart, bar chart, uh, and if you select the heading of any of these, it gives you not only just like an example, but a working example. And you can see just how beautiful these charts are. And I mean, honestly, you can make them more beautiful if you hate them. So we have this radar chart, uh, which is something you might see to describe attributes. We have the polar area chart which is sort of like a pie chart, but it adds an extra dimension where you can have this uh, branching out here. Now we also have pie and donut charts. Now a donut chart is just a sort of a hipper way of showing a pie chart at this point. I mean, it's it's showing the exact same data, but you see these used all over the place, like mint.com uses them and stuff like that. And here we have scales, which is allows you to like fully scale data, whether it's things like logarithmically and stuff like that. But as you can see here, these are some of the best docs around. So you can head to chartjs.org slash docs and just head in here and just see what's available. Get inspired. And in the next video, we're going to create our very first line chart right up top here. And I'm going to talk a little bit about chartjs while we go along. So the other charts are a little easier once we get into them. Cool. So this is chart.js. I hope you're excited. We're going to be building some really cool stuff.